including talks and other exhibitions. Adriana D'Alba has more on the other events going on at the oceanfront. Adriana? Hi, Nicole. All along the boardwalk, there were different activities going on all day long. Let me just tell you, I don't think you could come here and be bored because there's just this sense of good energy and positivity. At least that's the sense that I got and um, people just had so much to look forward to. We spent the entire day checking out everything this festival has to offer. Beyond the music, something in the water has something for everyone. There's a chance to shoot some hoops and get competitive at the Adidas HU court. Today, Hampton native and rapper Drum made an appearance. Just seeing the way it's flowing and seeing the stages and everything is put together, it's a beautiful thing, man. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be the first of many. It, it means a lot, um, especially being from the area. Just across the way, a chance to get creative and spread positivity at the Adidas Creator Park. It's so much to do, you have to kind of choose and be strategic about your schedule throughout the day. With so much to do, the Timberland Park offers a spot to relax. I love it. It's like, amazing. Yes, and how good the crowd is. Energy is like nothing is like negative about it at all. Like everybody's just here for the same thing. They're like feeling their own vibe, right. and it's just very free flowing. It all came together on day two of Something in the Water. So all of these events make up what is the big puzzle, right? Something in the water. Tomorrow, festival goers have the big pop-up church to look forward to. And me, I'm going to make my way down to that stage after this because I am dying to hear that music. But for now, I'm going to take it back to you. We're live in Virginia Beach. Adriana de Alba, 13 News Now.